first. Always great to catch up with our next guest. Yes, Coach Philip Fulmer. We will always call him Coach. Former head football coach of the Tennessee Vols and current director of athletics for the University <laughs> of Tennessee. Here's my little clap for you over yeah, here. Yeah, thank you for the injured arm and everything. Right? Yeah, two-handed clap. Well, congrats on everything, uh, and we're thrilled to have you in studio. Thrilled to be here. It's just been a wonderful two years. You know, we're fighting to get back where we want to be in some of our sports, football particularly, which we'll talk about in a, in a minute. But for the most part, it's just been a, a blast to work with the coaches, to work with the administration. I'm so excited where we are with our leadership of our university and and the just the attitude and the culture that's yeah. around us right now has been fun. Now, you need to look at, like, tennis. I mean, yeah. you know, the men's team is doing great. great. I mean, all of it. Yeah. It just seems like it's getting back where... Men and women. Men yeah. and women. Our swimming team is ranked like two, number two or three yeah. in the country. The men are eight. You know, uh, tennis is doing exceptionally well. <laughs> you know, our, our Lady Vols, have, they're, they're going to get to the tournament. Yeah. They have, have, a, have a run at it here. So, yeah, it's been, it's been, a, it's been really neat to see the, the attitude. Uh, that we have around around our campus, especially when you think back to the '90s and '98, especially in the <laughs> national championship. Then, yeah, <laughs> between basketball and football, you know, it was a great time to be at yeah. the University of Tennessee, yeah. and, and we can see that culture returning. That's what we want. You know, we want to all work together, campus-wise, and, and athletics, and city, and county, and state, for that matter, and you know, all boats rise together. And I think. Donnie Plowman has been unbelievable as the chancellor, and Randy Boyd has added a whole new dynamic. You know, they love the university. They want to be uh, what we were, you know, what we have been in the past, and academically be a great institution to, to get your degree from yeah. as well. So it's going to be fun. Well, we're looking at this right here. It's uh, it's that time of year to start thinking about these tickets. Yeah, Coach Pruitt did a great job last year. He's raised the, the excitement level considerably about Actually, our ticket sales are a little bit up right now compared year over year, and this is an important time for people to get out right now. We need you. We need our fans to come out and buy season tickets. Obviously, they can browse the website at allvols.com. Uh, they can give us a call. We'll, we'll fill their needs. If, they, if they've already bought and they've got two or three friends that they know, let us know who they are, and we'll go out and and solicit them. Uh, our ticket sales are the lifeblood of our of our athletic department and, and particularly football sales. So it's really important time for us. And you've got several options when it comes to season tickets. Yeah. You've got a vault pass that you all created last year. Is that right? Vault pass, great idea. You can come and, and, and buy this. You'll know uh, on Monday before the ball game, which is just exactly where your seats be. There. But those are some premium seats that you don't really have to pay the premium to. So I would encourage people to, to look at the ball pass. There's uh, tickets for as, as little as $300. Those are in the south end zone. But you've got, you've got uh, Florida and Alabama, Missouri and Kentucky, all SEC teams coming in and a good non-conference schedule. So that's, ex that's exciting. And then if you're not sure, not great with the website, then you can call us at 865-656-1200 and we can talk you through, you know, how you buy a season ticket. So fun time. Our people are doing a fantastic job, but we need our fans to come out and forth. Also, Coach Pruitt's are telling us, telling us all, you know, we're going to try to sell out the lower bowl uh, for the spring game. You nice. Know? Well, and that's going to be fun. There'll be a Vol Walk involved with that. The Vol Village will be there. Get to see a really good, you know, competitive game. We're getting more and more competitive as a football team. And um, and show our prospects, you know, that are coming. This recruiting is backed up, Russell, as you probably keep up with Absolutely, it. And yeah. And if it's backed up now, and this, this bowl game is like December, or excuse me, this uh, orange and white game is like, like December used to be, we'll have a large contingent of prospects on campus to uh, to see what the falls are all about. We want our fans showing them how supportive they are. Well, and let's talk about Neyland Stadium. Renovations have been taking place for several years now. What will be new this <coughs> season? What will well, we, we did the ribbon board last year where there'll be a sound system this year. Uh, we, we're we waiting on some, some uh, people to move out of the south end zone, you know, before we can actually physically start on that. But Do in you need me to DJ anything? No. Okay. no. Uh, DJ, uh, let, let me get back got, to you. On okay. Sterling Pearl has it covered. I'm just asking. Sure. All right, keep going, Coach. So you got those things. Uh, <laughs> no, no, it's just, it's, it is a, a great time. You know, we're, we're looking at all kinds of uh, uh, plazas that'll, that'll be coming on, bo on board, and particularly with uh, fan friendly things yeah. you know things that people can enjoy whether you're you're an, you're an adult certain places you'd like to go but also you know plazas and things for the children so 
uh, trying to spend a lot of time and effort in figuring out exactly what we want it to look like, you know, in a couple of years when we're when we're finished with that. And also, it's important to realize that we're building this for the next hundred years yeah, yeah. along the way, so we want it to be a fan-friendly place for that. You know, sometimes we hear about some of the negative things about players. Yesterday we talked about the fact that there's some really good guys on this team. Mm. You know, Daniel Batulli just graduated. What a kid. What, what a kid. Unbelievable Trey Smith, kid. and we want to talk to you if you can stick around for just a minute sure, about Trey and some of the yeah. other positive things going with the players because there are so many good ones. Yeah. And we want to talk about those guys when we come back. Glad to.